Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're wrapping up the AP Calculus 2013 for your response section. So here's number six. Consider this differential equation. Let y equals f, f of x be a particular solution of the differential equation that passes through one zero. Write an equation for the line tangent of the graph at the point. Use a tangent line to approximate f of 1.2. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. Um, so y equals f of x, tangent line, I need to know a point and a slope to get the equation of any line. Okay, I know the point, 1, 0, so I'm going to have y minus 0 equals m times x minus 1, point-slope form. And then, so to find m, I need to find the derivative dy dx at the point, 1, 0, right? And so I can plug it into this equation. That's e, because they give me dy dx, right? e to the y, which is 0. 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1. e to the, anything to the 0 except for 0 is 1. So that's 1 times 3 minus 6. So that's minus 3. So my equation is y equals minus 3 x minus 1. I just leave it like that. OK? Find, find the particular solution by actually solving this differential equation. Okay, so dy dx equals e to the y, 3x squared minus 6x. And I'm going to separation of variables, so dy over e to the y equals 3x squared minus 6x dx. Then I can integrate both sides. This side seems pretty easy. This side I want to rewrite as e to the negative y dy, right? Be good with the this conversion, exponential conversion. Um, so then I get um, negative e to the negative y. And the integral of this is x cubed minus 3x squared by power rule plus c. I can multiply through by negative 1. I get e to the negative y equals negative x cubed plus um, 3x squared and then plus a constant because I haven't solved for that constant yet and then um, I take the natural log of both sides so negative y equals natural log of negative x cubed plus 3x squared plus c okay and so then um, Rearranging, I'm going to put it over here. So multiplying with it, y equals negative ln negative x cubed plus 3x squared plus c. Now the thing is, is I don't know what, what c is, so I need to plug in some points. Um, passes through 1, 0. So x equals 1. So I have 0 equals negative natural log of <clears throat> negative 1. 1 cubed is 1. That makes that negative plus 3 plus c. In order for this, <clears throat> the inside of this has to be 1. I could do e to the both sides to kind of prove it, but basically negative 1 plus 3 plus c has to equal um, 1, because the natural log of 1 is 0. And so c equals, let's see, 2 to negative 1. So y equals negative natural log minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. So, let's see how we did. Oh, I was supposed to estimate something. Oh, crap. Uh, for part A. F of 1.2. Just plug in 1.2 to here. It's negative 3, 1.2 minus 1. <coughs> Excuse me. 0.2 times 3 is negative 0.6. So I forgot to do that. You can say I, doc I didn't get those points, but negative 0.6, but I got the equation. But if I didn't do the approximation, I just forgot it. I would have lost the point there. B, uh, yeah. What did they want? They wanted the particular solution. Oh, they're saying note the inter valid interval. But um, negative ln, negative x cubed, plus 3x squared minus 1. OK, minus 1. All right, so that wraps up the 2013 free response. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.